back to 22 Fashion Engineers, I'm Elizabeth and today's video is about how I keep breakouts at bay. I'm gonna share with you the products that I use to keep my um, skin clear and uh, out of trouble. A little bit of background as far as my skin type, um, I am fair and a little bit sensitive, I wouldn't say overly sensitive, but definitely I have to be careful with what I put on my skin so I don't get it irritated. Uh, my skin is pretty much dry for the most part with a little bit of, um, of an oiliness um, in the center of my face, not even t-zone um, so I have a little bit of a, of a strange combination there and uh, although I don't have acne and I've never had acne um, I'm lucky enough that uh, my skin doesn't uh, overreact like that but I do get breakouts on a regular basis and if I don't take care of my skin I will get them pretty much every week so what I do um, in order to keep it clear is um, a couple of things when I take care of it, I remove my makeup every night um, and I make sure that I have a cleansed uh, face and I have uh, my moisturizer and everything like that. There's a couple of products that I use specifically to make sure I don't get breakouts. Um, one of them is this one by La Roche-Posay. This is called Effaclore Duo. This is a French company. And really the main ingredient that um, keeps breakouts at bay for me is this um, ingredient here called benzoyl peroxide and as you see this has a concentration of 5.5% um, this is one of the best brands that I found for sensitive skin um, I'm not affiliated with them I would love to be <laughs> um, they're very they're formulated for people with sensitive skin so if you have rosacea or anything like that um, their products are meant to um, to fix certain um, issues and um, not irritate your skin further because a lot of these products um i tried some products from let's say neutrogena or you know and not to say neutrogena is a bad brand i use a lot of products from there but they can be a little bit harsh um even something like um you know a face cleanser it can actually irritate your skin and, and throw it out of balance so for me this is very very good because it does not dry my skin further so when i need to um you know just make sure that I don't get anything um, all over my face and I want to do maybe once a week or twice a week I want to put it all over my face I usually start with my nose um, this is actually excellent for blackheads it got rid of my blackheads in like three or four days um, go from my nose all the way where I get breakouts which is generally on my cheeks maybe a little bit on my forehead maybe a little bit on my chin I avoid this area which is my jawline my jawline doesn't really get breakouts um, not my temples but you know where your sensitive areas are and what you need to address when I put it all over my face I have you know very very thin layer I find that it actually does not further dry my skin which is great of course I follow up with a moisturizer but it's a really good product that is not going to cause additional problems. Now, keeping in mind that that benzoyl peroxide is what um, makes um, you know the product work, um, I found this little product here. This is from um, Harman. This is their generic brand. You will find these in um, all kinds of brands. I'm pretty sure that every drugstore brand has a knockoff of this. <clears throat> There's a couple of brand name brands that um, have the, uh, these, um, these little, um, what are they called, uh, treatments. Maximum strength treatments. And if you look on the back, again, we have the benzoyl peroxide. Okay, but now the concentration is 10%. And what I do with this, because this is pretty much double the potency of this. What I do with this, I don't put it all over my face because this will dry my skin to no end, even with moisturizer. But if I feel that I have something coming up, like a, something underneath my skin, I had something on my chin, you know those... Um, those pimples that are not pimples, that they're just like really um, hard spots and there's just nothing in there. They're just very painful. And I put this two nights in a row just on that spot, spot treatment, and it's gone. Um, the same goes for any breakout that might have, you know, slipped through and it's actually rearing its head through my skin. Just put this on and it's um, it's going to take care of the problem. I put I generally use these treatments at night, not during the day unless I have something that's really really bad and then I will treat it in the morning as well again careful because this will dry your skin and it will make it a little bit flaky if you're prone to flakes I am so I'm careful with them now after I put this on like I said follow up with your moisturizer not a problem um, that's pretty much what I do now during the day this is the last um, product that I use this is a 
um, Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer. And this is formulated for blemishes. This has a different type of um, ingredient in it. This is, I don't know if you can tell, it's salicylic acid. And this is in 0.5%. Uh, so this is a concealer. This is one of those one concealers and you just place it on or you put it on a brush and you pat it in. Um, I don't know that the salicylic acid survives um, being taken out and exposed to light very often but I do find that this is a very good concealer to cover things up uh, if I have a little bit of a blemish that didn't go away overnight with those products this actually I feel like it calms me down as far as that uh, that breakout goes that little spot I don't know if it's the placebo effect I don't know what it is or if it indeed it does its job but this is a very good um, product I think Neutrogena has a, a blemish concealer as well I think it's the same um, ingredient in the same um, percentage as far as um, the quantity goes I tried it, I find that this has a little bit more coverage, so I stuck with the Revlon Color Stay. But pretty much this is what I do um, to keep breakouts at bay. And I hope this video was informative and it helped you. If it did, please thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and uh, come back, I have many more videos coming up. Until next time.